Welcome back, everybody. You know, I travel throughout the entire United States giving talks, and every once in a while, somebody comes up to me and they go, Susie, Susie, look what I made for you. Now, look at this. I want you all to see this. This was made for me by a Gail Kushner and in Tucson, Arizona from Kushner Creations. And this is a little Susie doll that says people first, then money, then things. And it's got little money in its hand and this is my hair and it's like I don't know I kind of like it so I said give me that and I'm gonna take it and put it on my show so Gail thank you see I kept my word to you kind of cute don't you think what do you think Lou uh, I'm uh, nobody makes me anything here Lou will you wear this for me <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? Uh, what, really? I like this. That's real, probably not something I should wear. I think it's cute. It anyway, okay. I just thought I'd show it to you. It's very nice. All right, so what All do right, you... ready? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, Ellen from Virginia. Can you please tell your audience your own opinion on asset allocation? Most sources have a standard formula according to a person's age, but several really reliable sources hint that it might not be a bad idea to stay 100% invested in stocks until you are fairly close to retirement age. Can you please give us your opinion on this matter? Your opinion is the only one I completely trust, exclamation points, and a smiley face at the end. Uh-oh. You sure you want to trust somebody who thinks this is cute and <laughs> likes this? Anyway, that's besides the point. Here's the thing. Does Susie Orman believe in asset allocation? Ah, uh, no, she does not. Does Susie Orman believe in diversification? You betcha I do. Here's what I think is not good about asset allocation. You're conservative. You want to keep your money safe and sound. So you go to one of these financial advisors and they do this formula where they subtract your age from 100 or whatever they do. And that's the amount of money that you should keep in bonds. Okay. Then they sell you a bond mutual fund, something so that your money is safe and sound. And they do it while interest rates are low. And then interest rates start to go up. And then bonds go down, 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 and down. And has your money been safe? Is it a way to do it? Not in my opinion. Do I think that as long as you have 10 years or longer until you need this money, should it be invested in the stock market? I do. For money that you want safe and sound, you are to buy either individual bonds, CDs, you know, whatever it is, treasuries. But money that's in the market is money that you need in the market, but it shouldn't be there if you're going to need this money within 10 years, if I'm making sense. So, so I don't like it when people go, according to age, you do this and that. And here's another thing. I just have to say this as well. What if you're somebody who has a lot of money, like me? And I don't want the majority of my money in the stock market. I want the majority of my money safe and sound so nothing can happen to it. So by asset allocation rules, still at my age, I should have a good lump sum of money in the stock market. But you haven't taken into consideration, do I have money? Do I not have money? Other things. So Again, I don't believe in asset allocation, but I do believe, again, in diversification. You should have some of your money in the stock market, some of your money in real estate, maybe some of your money safe and sound, some of your money in commodities, some of your money in the stock market here in the United States, overseas. All those kind of things are essential, but not just asset allocate according to your age. It just, I've never believed in that. Do you know that? I did not know that. But I guess, it, you know... All these generalities when you're investing is a place to start, but I guess not necessarily a good thing to do. Oh, it's the way that many of these brokerage firms are able to meet some certain SEC guidelines mm. that if you're a conservative and you don't know what to do, you've got to keep your money safe. But if you think bond mutual funds and bond index funds are a way for you to keep your money safe, I'm here to tell you I don't think so. All right. All right. All so, right. okay. I hope you have a good weekend. You too. What are you going to do? Uh, not much. You know, I've been asking you that almost <laughs> every single that. Saturday night. And every single Saturday night, he goes, not much. <laughs> you know, everybody's going to think you don't have a life. I, it's, it's not a, it's, it's boring. Yes. All right. Well, fine. <laughs> all right, Susie. <laughs> okay. So Yours is not boring. Mine is oh, not boring. Is not I'm boring about to all. skadoodle out of here. All right. I'm going home to Florida. Ah, very nice. I'm coming home to you, Mama. All right, sweethearts, where do you go home to?
Do you like living where you are? Do you like your financial situation? Do you feel comfortable in your financial skin, so to speak? I hope so, because you're going to be living with it for a long time. So I hope you find the information that you need right here so that you can live any life you want wherever you want to go. So until next week, there's only one thing that I want you to remember when it comes to your money, and it is this. People first then money, then things. Now you stay safe.